Hello, this is Mike with NetPix.com. In this video, I thought we would take a look at some charts using one of our favorite setup types. It's what we call our reversal setup. It's a setup that looks to take advantage of markets being at an extreme. That could be extreme on the overbought or oversold side of things, just depending on the, the current market conditions. So at the moment, if you've watched some of our earlier videos, you know that you know, for the last couple days, we've gotten to an overbought level on quite a few markets. We've seen a pretty impressive run to the upside here over the past three, four trading days. So with that in mind, what we're trying to do here is we're gonna take the stance that coming off of an overbought level, we're most likely gonna see a lot of markets pull back. Okay, that doesn't mean they're gonna tank out and go back to the August lows. It just means that we're gonna see a healthy pullback. Okay, the markets tend to move in a stair step fashion where it's two steps forward, three steps forward, one step back. We're trying to take advantage of the one step back. Now the key to this setup type is really identifying the markets that like to make swings back and forth on a regular basis. All right, you'll definitely find stocks or ETFs out there that don't tend to show as much volatility. Okay, they'll make moves and then they'll chop. Okay, they don't swing back and forth. When you compare that to a stock like Netflix or Google, those stocks do not like to stay quiet for long. They're, they're constantly making swings back and forth and decent sized swings at that. So we wanna take advantage of those types of products. Now this setup type, um, we're not always super aggressive with this setup type. And what I mean there is we have three setup types as part of the Options Mastery Program. Our basic setup and our re-entry trades, those are much more common. They're much more active. Okay, we like to take a look at this third setup type with the reversal setup. We like to look at this during certain stretches of the year when we start to get the market making those extremes on a regular basis. I personally believe that now's a great time to use this reversal trade because I think we're gonna continue to see that volatility back and forth. So let's take a look at some of these, let's take a look at some of these products. Let's take a look at Facebook here a second. Um, honestly, it's not my favorite product to trade. I thought I would enjoy Facebook a lot more than I do. Okay, I thought it'd be a great trading product. Um, I've been pretty picky when I do trade it. Okay, I have found some nice success with the reversal setup here. Uh, so this is the one setup type where I would probably consider trading this product. Okay, so what we look for, down at the bottom, you're gonna see this indicator called the Williams percent R. It's a pretty standard indicator in most charting platforms. And we're looking for extremes on the overbought or oversold side of things. So what makes an extreme? Well, if we get above the minus 10 line, which is this upper yellow line here, that's considered overbought. If we get below the minus 90 line, down below, that's oversold. That's step number one for a setup. So let's go back and take a look at a couple of these here. So this oversold uh, reading back here, okay, you can see it from a number of weeks back. Okay, this was back in uh, mid to late September. So we got overbought. Step number two, you'll see this dashed yellow line on my chart. That's what we call our signal line. For step number two, we have to get a close below the signal line here. Okay, we're overbought. We want to see a pullback. So step number two, we want to wait for confirmation. We want to wait for price action to close below the signal line. Notice that the candle right here did that. We were overbought on percent R. We got to close below our signal line. That was step number two. And step number three, you'll notice this little magenta or the purple pink color dot, whatever color you want to call that. That's our entry point. Okay, so step number three is we have to wait for price action to confirm and get down to our entry point. So just because we get to an overbought level does not mean we jump right into a short trade. We stay patient. We wait for price action to confirm because let's face it, markets can stay overbought or oversold for an extended length of time. So we wanna make sure that we ask for confirmation and we wait for these setups to trigger in. So we did trigger into this trade. Notice that we triggered in, we had our targets down here, two target levels, we had our stop up here. And right after triggering into that trade, we immediately turned right back to the upside. We got in early. You're gonna find that oftentimes when on a reversal setup trade, we oftentimes get in early because markets after getting to an overbought or oversold level, they don't immediately turn. They can stay at those levels for an extended stretch. So we got in early. You might say, well, Mike, why don't you wait longer to get in there? Well, I don't have a problem getting in here because you know, 
I want to make sure I grab the trade. I don't want to miss out on the trade. I don't want to be late to the trade. So by getting in here, if you missed it initially, look at you had trade, you had an opportunity here. Second opportunity to get in sync with the trade. You also had an opportunity over here. There was three chances to catch this trade. Okay, so you don't have to worry about missing it and and um, looking at the charts from open to closing bell. You know, you can come in a couple times a day, check for these setups. Oftentimes when you come in, there's going to be nothing to do. But when you do get that set up, very easy to jump into. In this case, either a long put, a long put spread, you know, a couple of different ways that you could take the trade using options. So we are fortunate enough to hit full target here. Notice how accurate the, the system identified that target level. So that was just a really nice trade. That did a couple things for us. It allowed us to book the profit, but it also gave us an oversold rating down here on percent R. Okay, so that's step number one for a long setup. Step number two, in this case, we need to close up above the signal line. Notice we had a couple of closes up above that signal line right here. One right here, one right here. Both of those trades ended up canceling before they hit the entry point. They canceled because before we triggered in, price action flipped right back down below the signal line. Okay, so remember, we have to get that confirming uh, close of a candle above the signal line, which we did. We got a third attempt here, and this one did trigger us in. Okay, so we hit our entry point. We had our targets up above. We had our stop below. Notice what happens when we hit the first target. The stop goes to break even. Okay, notice what happens when we get halfway in between the first and second target. We start to initiate a trailing stop. So even though we hit full target here, and it, doesn't, it didn't matter, had we missed out on second target and price action turned around on us, we were going to get out with a partial profit because the stop had moved up. Okay, that's the nice part about the system. So you can see here, you know, did we need big swings? Did we need big moves, big trends to develop to capture these trades? No, we're looking for swings back and forth. I'm not looking for home run trades here with my options trading. I have found that by going for home run trades over time, you just you don't hit them often enough to really make it worth your while. Okay, I find that just going for the consistent, you know, the small profits, the singles and doubles, that's what we're looking for. Okay, so we were able to catch these moves really nicely back and forth. Now, take a look at the percent R. We don't have an extreme here. For us to look at a short, another short trade, we have to get an overbought reading. We have to get up above that negative 10 line. That hasn't happened yet. So there's nothing for us to do here. We just wait for the next setup to come. Okay, let's take a look at a few additional names. Now that you, you're familiar with what we're looking for, it's a very easy setup type. I mean, there's there's nothing overly complex here. Okay, the power really is somewhat in the simplicity of the system. All right, let's take a look at let's take a look at the um, let's take a look at Google. We'll jump over to G O O G L. The nice part about this, here in a couple of minutes, I'll show you where you can actually get a free version of this. We're going to release the custom indicators, um, fully customized trade calculator, printing the setups on the chart for you uh, for three of our favorite products, the Dow ETF, Google, and Apple. You'll have access to those free of charge, so we'll give you a free glimpse of how the system trades and see if we can make some money here in the coming weeks. So on Google, the story remains the same. What we're looking for with this setup, okay, overbought or oversold reading, a close above or below the signal line, and we're waiting for a price to confirm and hit the entry point. Once that criteria is met, we get an entry point. You can see that we did trigger into this short trade, okay, on Google. Same, it looks very similar to the Facebook chart, right? We had our entry point, we have our targets, we had our stop. We came down, we hit first target on this trade. We actually got halfway in between the first and second target on this little spike to the downside. That was enough to trigger our, our trailing stop. So initially, once we hit the first target, the stop went down to break even. Once we started to initiate our trailing stop, we're locking in profit at that point, and we did get taken out. Okay, so we didn't end up hitting our full target. It didn't play out like we were ideally looking for but it was enough of a move to get us a, a profitable trade. It was a small profit, nothing uh, nothing record breaking by any stretch, but it's still, we're not gonna argue with a partial profit, right? When you can take a profit when you're wrong, that's exactly what we're looking for. We thought we were gonna get a breakdown to full target. We didn't get that, but we were still able to pull out a small profit, okay? 
So now we're just waiting for the next setup here. Okay, so I can quickly come in today and look at the chart and see, okay, is there a setup printing? Okay, because these setups do print in real time. I don't see any setups here. So I can move on with my day, maybe come back around lunch or in the afternoon to see, okay, is there a new setup? And if so, where's my entry point? That way we can get some orders in place, potentially take the next trade. Okay, what about, uh, what about Apple? Well, here again, on Apple, very similar looking chart to the previous two. Okay, we're looking for oversold or overbought levels. We did get an oversold level here um, back towards the end of last week. We saw Apple rally up, get hit our entry point. We got to close above the signal line. We got an entry point to be hit. We jumped in some long calls or a long call spread, depending on you know your account size and you know how aggressive you want to be. So we trigger into a long trade here. We chop around. Notice you had multiple opportunities to catch the trade. Okay, we we hung around that entry point for quite some time. We did end up getting up and hitting first target. Okay, that happened yesterday. So unfortunately for us, look what happened ever since we hit the first target. Price action pulled right back, and it took us out at break even. So you, you might look at that and say, Mike, why are you showing me this? It's a break even trade. It didn't hit target. Well, even when we're wrong, we did not get the strong bounce to the upside. The, the rally here the last couple days in the market, a lot of key names did not participate, Apple being one of them. Okay, we did not get Apple to move to the upside. We were dead wrong. Okay, but we still got out at break even, no harm done. Okay, and now, much like Google, we're waiting for the next setup. So we can come in a couple times today, take a look at the chart. And when I say come in and check in the chart, I'm talking for a couple minutes at a time. I and mean, we're not talking about sitting down for an hour analyzing the charts. We can quickly come in because that calculator is printing things in real time for us. Okay, we can take a quick peek and then move on with our day. All right, let's wrap it up here with the Dow ETF. Okay, this is probably the clearest picture of what the market has done here since the end of last week. Okay, we saw the incredible run to the upside from Friday into Monday, saw a choppy session Tuesday, and then yesterday we did see another strong rally to the upside. So we've seen an incredible run here. Okay, it's no surprise when I look down to the bottom of this chart and I see that Williams percent R indicator, notice we did get up above minus 10. So we are overbought here in the near term. Again, that does not mean I'm expecting the market to tank out from here, but there's a very good chance that heading into the end of this week, early next week, we could get a decent pullback, a pullback that it is playable for us. So what we're waiting for, and notice we've had four different opportunities to look at short trades here. Okay, we had a bunch of magenta colored dots print. Those printed because we're overbought and we got closes below the signal line. Okay, now they all canceled, and they canceled once price action went back up above the signal line. Okay, so you can see here that we briefly had a short setup yesterday, and then the market bounced off of the lows yesterday afternoon, and we went right back up above the signal line. So I could potentially be looking at a short trade here over the next couple of days. If the market sells off here today, today being Thursday, um, October 8, if we get a close below the signal line here intraday, we're going to get another short setup. And we'll be looking to grab that short, which I will jump all over because I'm expecting the market to work off some of this overbought, um, some of these overbought levels here. So if we get that short setup, what, how would I play it? Well, you could go in with a long put. You could go in with a long put spread. Those are both valid ways of playing the move to the downside. Okay, the long put's going to be more aggressive. The long put spread's going to allow you to reduce some risk, be a little more conservative. So it just depends on your outlook for the market going forward over the next few days. Typical holding time on these days or on these trades, anywhere from 48 hours on out to about 10 days or so. That's pretty typical for our reversal trade. So again, I told you with the setup type, it can work on any stock or ETF out there. Okay, the setups look very similar. Each, um, each trade plan is developed for that specific product. So the Apple trade plan is gonna be slightly different than the Dow, uh, different than Google. And there's a reason for that. Each, each stock has a different personality. So the customized trade plans, they're yours and they're yours free of charge on our three favorite products. So I showed you the Dow, I showed you Google, and I showed you Apple. Okay, we've been active on all three here over the past you know, number of days and weeks. 
Visit this link, netpicks.com forward slash options trading. Go ahead and type that into your browser and you'll definitely be able to sign up um, free of charge for those three products. They were programmed. I showed you on Thinkorswim. They work on TradeStation. They work on NinjaTrader. You know, you can you can go ahead and download those, get them up, and uh, I expect us to be pretty active here in the coming days. So just track it. Go go ahead and track it. See how we approach the markets here at Netpick. So I really love this setup type, especially in the given market conditions. I've been telling my students here for the last uh, week or so. You know, in the current conditions, this could be prime time action for the reversal setup. So let's track it closely. We'll revisit it here next week, see uh, see how some of these trades play out, see how these some of these charts play a potential move to the downside. So again, netpicks.com forward slash options trading. You'll see a button right there to go ahead and, and, and click on um, and download the free version of, of the setup. So again, market's been very kind to us of late. And I don't expect that to change anytime soon. I would expect things heading on into the end of the year, expect things to stay pretty active. So just a great time to be involved in the markets. All right, so if, as always, if you have any questions at all, feel free to send me an email, mike at netpicks.com. I'll get back with you with answers as, as quickly as I can. So good luck trading, everybody, to end the week, and uh, we'll talk again soon.